Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday, so it's the start of a whole new week. And I am getting ready for the grand opening of a second location of a sushi buffet that I typically go to. And I wanted to be the first in line. I want to be the first customer, so I made the earliest reservations. I'm such a dirt, dirt. I'm such a dork, I know. But hey, I am serious when it comes to sushi buffets. We're here at the sushi buffet, and I just saw two people walk in. And it's not even time to open. So we were one of the first customers here. <laughs> But we made the first reservation. No, we're the first customer that made reservations. No, wait, we're the first customer that made to their reservation. That makes sense, right? <laughs> I want to be the first at something. Sure. We can also be the first at using these sauces. Look how clean they are. And the first using these pens in the order form. So we have free hot sake. I've never tried hot sake before. Cheers. Sushi buffet, and sake, and cherry, and AJ, and, AJ. <laughs> and apple. <laughs> Second round, still going strong. I'm not gonna eat for the rest of the day. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hi, can I get a tall pumpkin spice latte with soy? We're actually currently out of soy. Um, can I have the almond milk? The one tall pumpkin spice with almond milk. All right, can I do anything else for you today? Uh, not the VL. I am feeling so dead today. I'm so tired. It's 12.30 right now and I desperately needed to stay awake. I want to run some errands. I had computer training today so it was a short day for me. But I was so tired throughout the whole training and I even put my head down and took a nap while we were on break. <sighs> PSL. Let's try this. PSL with uh, almond milk. Mmm. Alright, got my caffeine. Time to run errands. So I'm currently at Hobby Lobby, the arts and crafts store, and I need to DIY my EDC outfit. I'm looking for like fabrics. I need to make a hat and I need to um, add some decor to my outfit. Oh, and I also need to find something to decorate my fanny pack. Jackpot. I've been looking for like these cords, but they don't really have the color that I want. I want gold and I don't know, this is kind of like a light champagne gold. I want it to be like yellow gold because I want it to stand out. So I don't know what to do. And now stopping by Target. I'm trying to be good and not buy everything that I see, but it's hard because it's Target. And now I'm looking for a body scrub because I ran out of some. Oh. Hello, maybe I should try this one out. I'm gonna try out this one. It's sea lily and jasmine. And it smells pretty nice. And might as well get some lashes while I'm here. So I bought everything that I needed and didn't even go off my shopping list. I'm proud of myself. Gonna rest up a bit, gonna have a meal. Finally, I got some stir fry, leftover stir fry, and then some quinoa. And catching up on some vlogs. Right now, I'm watching It's Judy's Life. I'm so dead. Today has been such an exhausting day. Around like 6.45 in the morning, my preceptor texted me and asked me if I was coming in. And I said that I had class and she's like, no, just skip it, come to the floor and uh, take patience. So I was an hour late to my shift and my preceptor decided for me to take on two patients. Now two patients doesn't seem like a lot, but at the ICU too is like what we generally take care of. Since the patients are so critically ill, nurse to patient ratio is lower on the ICU floor. I've been taking care of one patient pretty much on my own with the help of my preceptor and I've gotten used to it although there are times when it is still difficult for me. So when I came in and she was like, you're taking two patients, I'm like, what? <laughs> and being late did not help me because I was backed up on charting and my meds and everything. It was just an exhausting day and I felt 
like my brain was going to explode during interdisciplinary rounds when you're reporting to the intensivist or the um the physician on the floor the doctor that's here this week can be quite intimidating and um he asked questions he was a doctor who asked me what causes hypotension like a few weeks ago and i like froze and i didn't know how to answer him he did the exact same thing today and i'm just like oh my god i don't know what it is but i just I just feel so stupid when I'm around him. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing because there's a lot of people around you getting report from you. And that's just one of my fears, uh, you know, making a fool of myself in front of them, looking like a stupid nurse. I want to look like a competent nurse. Of course, if they see me as a great nurse, that'd be even better, but at least competent. I just wanted to like crawl in a hole and just nap. I'm just gonna have to get used to it, but starting off, it's really hard. Just came home from the hospital and look what I come home to. Cherry. Yeah. Why? I saw it on target. Like, Why is it crooked? It yeah, your head is crooked. Like the sausage tip is going this way. Wanna try it on? Not right now. You sure? Yeah, I have dead person on me. Oh. So I'm gonna change out my clothes and shower and stuff. And then will you turn it on? Maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, one of my patients passed away today. It was actually really sad because I've been working with this patient for three days and to see him go, it was just, it was emotional. It was hard, but um, I held it together. I did my thing and everything went well. This week has been very emotional for me because I've been hit with a lot of challenges like talking to the physician and taking care of two patients finally and I've just been so drained. As the week has gone by, it's been getting easier. I'm starting to get used to this physician that I've been having a hard time with. I just need to remember that physicians are people too. They just want you to know what's going on with the patient, like the overall picture. So they are testing you because they want to know if the patient is in good hands and I get that but for me it's like the physician was testing me and testing me in front of all of these people it was like stage fright for me and I just I couldn't do it we'll see about tomorrow hopefully it's another good day and tomorrow is actually my last day of my internship so if you guys didn't know I'm interning at a big hospital right now so I can do my training on the ICU floor where I see more critical patients and next week I go back to my home hospital where I will be working permanently. It's a smaller hospital and I don't see as many critical patients but I will still be working on the ICU floor. So big things coming up and I'm excited but I'm also very nervous. Just came back from my Tinder date and <sighs> that had to be the shortest date I've ever went on. I actually kind of rushed it because it was just not happening. I knew this guy was shy, but like there was nothing going on and it was quite boring and I was just ready to get it over with. And I mean, it wasn't like bad, but it was just like not enjoyable. There's just no compatibility. TGIF! It's finally the weekend. The weekend. I am so tired. Today was my last day of my internship and it was, it was another difficult day. I'm still learning. I'm still improving. I'm still gaining skills and as long as I'm still growing, that's all that matters because I'm improving myself. And now that I'm finished with work for the week, I can focus on the weekend. So it's date night with Stephanie and I. It's just us two this year. We're into Trail of Terror. So let's get a scare on. So unfortunately I 
making it vlog of the trail, but this is the aftermath, and we're gonna watch a fire tamer. Broke out my prop bag to see what to wear for Halloween. Hmm. So Halloween outfit for the night. This attire. I actually bought this costume a while ago and I just never worn it. I think it looks like sexy cute, not like like slutty at all. It's Saturday, so of course there's gonna be Halloween parties. I'm gonna go back downtown where they're holding like this block party. And I know that I was just there last night and I'm still not 100%, but I just took some Advil. I think I'm ready to go back downtown. Downtown and it's quite busy right now. It's still early in the night, it's like nine something. So it's going to be even more packed. And yeah, I'm excited to see everyone's costume. This is my friend Patrick and guess who he is? Hello. <laughs> We're gonna hit up Food Bar first and uh, see where this night takes us. Cheers to Halloween! Halloween. Late night Waffle House. So I kind of forgot to close out the vlog last night. As you can tell, it's the next day. <laughs> I kind of passed out after that Waffle House. But I had a lot of fun last night. It was cool to just see everyone dressed up. I hope everyone has a happy Halloween and that everyone stays safe and that you eat lots of candy, but not to the point where, you know, you're regretting it with a stomach ache, but have some fun at least. I hope you guys had a great week and I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching, bye.